And we're back here with another edition of Recruit Spotlight on Husker Online. Sean Callahan, Steve Sipple, as always, Recruit Spotlight, brought to you by Tanner Sports Bar and Grill, Tavern 180, two locations here in Lincoln on 30th and Yankee Hill Road. And Sip, we've done this a couple of times, but we got a repeat uh, guest here on Recruit Spotlight. Joining us here, we talked to him earlier in the season and he's grown since we've seen him. Well, I think he has. Let's welcome in to Recruit Spotlight from Paramus Catholic in New Jersey, one of the top offensive linemen in the country, Malachi Goodman. Malachi, it's great to see you back in Lincoln. Welcome here to Recruit Spotlight. Thank you. Good to be back. Good to be back. Thank you, Malachi. Well, yeah, I, I asked, I said something out of the gates. I mean, how much have you grown? I mean, you've probably grown at least an inch and in, in 15, 20 pounds since we last seen you. Yeah, an inch or two. I'm around six, 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 five quarters. Are you are, are, and you're a pure tackle? Would you say yes? Pure tackle, Sean. And <laughs> your your recruiting has been fascinating. Um, you know, I, you put out that graphic earlier in the process on all the visits you were going on. I, I want to say you had nine trips over six weeks. Is that accurate? Yes, yeah, pretty accurate. And just what goes into that? I mean, because I think when you see these big time recruits now, this is the trend with recruiting. You're seeing guys put together a schedule like you, especially when you have offers. All these teams, I assume you had committable standing offers from all nine of them. Is that right? Yes. yes. Um, how much work kind of went into putting that schedule together? I mean, we we had to break the, all the schools down, all the schools I, like, you know, had to look into. that I felt like I needed to look into, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, me and my coaches, my mom, we talked over. We was like, okay, these are the schools. And then that's how we basically went off. And then next will be the OVs. Okay. So, I mean, you are on, you're going on, like, like we've established, you're going on a lot of trips, Florida, Michigan, Ohio yeah. State, Penn State, a, a lot of places, USC. What do you look for on these trips? What sort of things are you, are you really locking in on? So stability, the coaches, all that stuff. Okay. Um, development, education, of course, those are the big three that I like. How are your grades? Good. A's right. and B's. Good job. Now you uh, this week alone, you were at Ohio State, and then you were at Alabama, I believe, last week. Is that right? Yes, yes, that is right. What uh, just I mean, speak on some of those trips. I mean, those are some of the big time programs around college football. Anything jump out on some of your recent trips that you've been on? Alabama, their weight room, their facilities were nice. I loved it down there. Um, Ohio was cool. I liked it down there too. But yeah, Alabama was is next level. Next level. Now, why does Nebraska have your attention? I mean, Nebraska was the first offer. I mean, that's I always have some love for Nebraska because they took a chance on me first. But um, I also feel like I, that's a school I need to see, you know, need to check it out, need to. What has made an impression on you here? Probably the facilities. Yeah. The new facilities are great. Well, that matters to you. I mean, I won't say it matters, but it is It is like if I if I feel like I'm a player that wants to get better, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, when you came here, Malachi, in the fall, it was a quick trip. I mean, almost just in and out one day. You got to go yeah. to a game. What didn't you get to see that you're looking forward to seeing this time around? Probably offensive line film. That's what I usually go when, when I go to colleges. I sit with the O-line coach, just talk ball with them. That's yeah. usually what I do. That's what I didn't get to see. So, so have you you've met have you met with Donovan Raiola? Yes. What, what's your about. impressions of Donovan? Coach Raiola, he's cool. He cares about his players a lot. Um, he just wants to improve them as much as possible. When you say you want to talk ball, for instance, with Donovan Raiola, what kind of things are you wondering? Like scheme wise, like their run game, pass game, just seeing their stuff. You know. Yeah, absolutely. We're joined here by uh, one of the top offensive tackle prospects in the country, Malachi Goodman from Paramus Catholic on Recruit Spotlight, Sean Callahan, Steve Sipple, Recruit Spotlight, once again brought to you by Tanner Sports Bar and Grill, Tavern 180 on 30th and Yankee Hill Road here in Lincoln. Uh, Malachi, you know, you, you talked about facilities. Have you been able to – did you get a chance, I know, on, on your first day here uh, to look at Nebraska's new facilities and what jumped out about that? Yes, I have. It's, it's improved a lot. I've seen the weight room. The weight room is cool um how all the stuff connects you know it's like it's not really like you're scrambling to get to places like the weight room is right next to the end door right. all that stuff that's that probably stood out the most yeah that was the plan they wanted to make it like that yep. now 
I've read some stuff. You've made a pretty big jump from your sophomore year in high school to your junior year. Yeah. What led to what kind of what did you do better and what led to it? Probably my mentality change. I mean, it's funny. I always tell the story because my teammate, he's Juan Manai, he committed to Miami. Okay. He always was saying that he wasn't, he wasn't, I wasn't going to be better than him until he leaves. So I was like, all right, let me prove him wrong. So, all right. That's what made me work harder. That, may, that, that makes sense. Now, where else, where do you got to get better in your game? Do you feel like? Um, probably strength wise, just finishing people to the ground. Yeah. After every play, every play, someone needs to be on the ground. There you go. Yeah, the coaches like to hear that. <laughs> now, Malachi, a big reason why guys take the trips like you're doing right now is to kind of figure out the next step, which is official visits. Mm -hmm. Give us a look into your process. What do you have left on your spring tour of visits, and when do you expect to kind of whittle things down, and how many official visits would you like to take? Um, so right now I got South Carolina after Nebraska, of course. I got South Carolina and Illinois left. After that, I'll probably start going into official visits. I mean, now that they're unlimited, you know, I could take as many as I want, but I don't plan on taking a whole lot. Probably around like six. And that will be at most. Would that be in June? Yeah. Mainly June. I mean, I guess you could do yeah, some in May June. if you wanted to, but my first one is the last week in May. And where's that going to be? Penn State. Penn State. Okay. You, um, you enjoy this process. What do you enjoy about this process? I mean, I won't say I enjoy it. I'm grateful for it, you know, because, I mean, I, I don't think anyone would enjoy it. all the coaches calling you nonstop. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Some people might enjoy it, but I don't. I mean, it's cool, you know. Building is it nonstop? It is. It is. I like building a relationship with them mainly, but, yeah. yeah. When, when you wake up in the morning, let's just say you slept in till 9, what does your phone look like as far as messages, DMs? What does it look like at 9 a.m.? It depends. Some days are some days are calm, but some days are hectic. You know, some days I wake up with a whole bunch of texts, but some days aren't bad. Um, usually coaches call when they know I'm like free, so like they won't call during school. They'll probably text a little bit, but a lot of them call like during break or whatever. Yeah. A big a big thing too is FaceTime. I mean, I know yeah. a lot of coaches kind of want to personalize things. Back in the day, you'd write a handwritten letter that was kind of like personalized. Now yeah. it's the FaceTime call. I mean, you get a lot of FaceTime requests from coaches. I mean, most of the calls I'm on is FaceTime. Is it? Yeah, most of them, the majority. Interesting. And that's head coaches, O-line coaches. Yeah, any any coach. Okay, so, back. so you're in Lincoln, um, and you're going to go to practice tomorrow. What will you be looking for? Um, Just to see how Coach Riola coaches, you know, just to see the intensity of the practice. That's really the main things. Yeah, that'll be interesting. What um for Nebraska to get one of those six official visits? I mean, are they close to that cut line for you? And what what do you need to see on this trip to to come back to Lincoln again? Well, really, what I just said the the coaching. I just needed. I want to see the coaching style. You know, um, probably hang out with the old lineman after a little bit. So that's really the big takeaway for me. Okay. Have you had a chance to meet Dylan Riola yet? Out of yes, curiosity? I have. I have. I've been talking to him a little bit. But yes, I have met him early on. I when I first got here, I met him. He's cool. He's a does, good dude. Does it matter that to have a guy like that in the program to you, Dylan Riola? Yeah. I mean, I don't. I won't say it matters, but it, it definitely helps. Yeah. You know. Makes sense. Well, Malachi, uh, you've had quite a journey, and, and, your, and your mom Tanya Loper has, has been on all these trips with you. Yes. So I mean, this would be a time I'm sure you guys will never forget all the traveling and yeah, places. No. I mean, you've probably been on 30 trips, so I'm guessing, if not more. 30? No, that's too much. Probably, including these, I've been to Penn State, Rutgers, and Maryland twice. Been to Boston College once. That's really it. And then the, this trip, that this round of visits you're on, but yeah. Florida, USC, Michigan on this round, right? Alabama, 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 Alabama Georgia, yeah, <laughs> Ohio State, South Ohio Carolina. State, yeah, That's yeah. quite a few. That's quite a few. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's quite a journey. Well, hey Malachi, um, best of luck here as you kind of work your way through this process and and take the next step. Do you have a deadline uh, as far as like when you want to make an announcement? Are you going to make your um, your commitment in the summer? Or are you going to hold it? Um, I've been thinking about that. Is at first, I was saying, like, maybe mid-season to the end of the season, and now probably from the range of before the season to July, you know, around that time. All right. Big, hey, that'll be big. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people will be watching.
But I'll see. I'm not. I'm not positive. Don't hold so, him yeah. to it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, Malachi, uh, thank you again for joining us here uh, on Recruit Spotlight. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks again to Malachi Goodman, four-star tackle from Paramus Catholic in New Jersey, joining us on Recruit Spotlight. Once again, Recruit Spotlight brought to you by Tanner Sports Bar and Grill, Tavern 180, 30th and Yankee Hill Road in Lincoln. For Steve Sipple, I'm Sean Callahan.